Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. As you can see, I am standing in front of my brand new to me uh, uh, ambulance, and we are going to begin the solar install. And I'm not going to do a, a big uh, lot of videos on how to install the solar. There are a lot of really good ones out there, and I don't think I can contribute much. I want to give you some ideas of what I'm thinking and the products I'm using along the way, just so you'll get a good overview. First, I'm going to put on four 180 watt panels. And so today we are actually looking at just the panels. And uh, to give you the broadest overview, it will go, those four panels will go in series, meaning it will go out as 88 volts. And I'm not going to discuss really uh, in depth the, uh, all the details of all the parts and pieces, I'll do that one at a time. This, build, this video would be forever and we don't, I don't want that. And you don't want that. Uh, I'll just say that the broad system will be 720 watts in four 180 watt Bouge RV panels. It will go into a Victron 150 by 70, 150 volt 70 amp controller. From there, it will go into right now two Battleborn lithiums. Um, and then it will come out into a Xantrex 2000 pure sine wave inverter. I'll talk to you all about that in separate videos. I'm not going to try and combine them all into one. It'd be impossible. So today we're only talking about the Bouge RV solar panels, which these are two. Uh, two of them just arrived from Amazon. They're still at Mail Messages of More in Pahrump, Nevada, where I get my mail. And so they will to be, uh, I'll get them out and test them as well. Today I just want to show you these two and tell you why I chose Bouge RV. Well, you know, what you want to do is solar panels are pretty much a commodity now. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of improvement on one panel over another. Um, uh, you know, I, I really think that's true. I would suggest you buy from a company that you think is going to be around for a while that will back you up. But even if they don't, these things come with a 25-year warranty usually. Uh, and, and like it's usually 20 years at 100% efficiency, 25 years at 90% uh, efficiency, and 30 years at 85% uh, efficiency. Uh, and it varies, that's what's going to vary is exactly the time frame. but they are gonna last you forever. And I, I have bought really ex expensive panels and I bought really cheap panels, and I've not seen any difference in the long run over their quality or their, um, or, or, uh, their power output. So why am I going with Bouge RV? Well, I gotta be completely honest with you. I did a review of the Bouge RV fridge, which I was very happy with and so far so really great. A very good fridge, does exactly what you want a fridge to do. Uh, and so once you start a relationship with a company, they wanna send you stuff. And there's all the time writing me and saying, Bob, test this. And I always write back and say, no. One day they wrote and said, hey, Bob, test our solar panels. And I said, oh free solar panels. Now, maybe that makes me a monster. I just think it makes me smart. I said, oh, okay, free solar panels. I just bought an ambulance, my, my new solar system for free. Uh, and But what I wanted to do, I know how that looks. And that looks like, well, they've bought my review. I'm only going to be telling them what they want, they want me to say. And I understand if you respond and feel that, because that's what I would feel too. So here's what I did. I ordered two with my own money. Uh, and so I have $360 plus tax invested in my solar panels. Now, before we, uh, I'll, I'll show you, tell you here in just a minute how I test panels. First, let me measure them for you. Uh, the first thing you do when you're thinking about buying a panel is you make sure you have room on your roof for that panel. And uh, so that's number one is measure, climb up on the roof, look around, where will this fit? If I'm going to order two, where will two fit? If I'm going to order three, where will the three fit? If I'm going to order four or more, where is each one going to fit? And that's why you have to have a tape measure. And that's the very first thing you do when you're considering any solar panel is find the, uh, the dimensions and fit it to your roof first. Uh, this is a good size. I think 180 watts is a good size. It's not as small as the 100, but it's pretty easy to find a space. Of course, I've got an ambulance. I got tons of room. I don't have to worry about room up there. So four of these are gonna go up there and I could put them one in each corner and still have a huge amount of room. Um, and so I don't have to worry about that, but you do. When you buy a solar panel, first thing you do is measure. So this one is um, 26 and a half wide. So go up on your roof, measure. Oh, you have to have a space that's 26 and a half wide and um, 58 and a half long. 
Uh, so you've got to have that much room for however many panels you want to buy. They don't have to be beside each other. I'm running these in series so I can use a smaller wire and have a longer run. That's my goal. And it's the uh, controller works more efficient, efficiently with the higher voltage. Um, they, it's called overhead. It gives them more room to work with it and manipulate the voltage, the more voltage there is. When you're thinking about price, how much am I going to pay per watt? 180 watt panel, I don't want to pay more than a dollar a watt. I don't want to pay more than $180 for that panel. And it came in with all of my other solar supplies. So I paid nothing for shipping, free shipping from Amazon Prime. So that's why I'm buying, I'm using, I'm buying the Bouge RV and I'm buying 180 water instead of one of the really big panels. Okay, next, when you get your panel, you want to check it to make sure it's working. Whatever, where, whatever panel it is, wherever it came from, you want to check it. And it's a real simple way to do that is with a voltmeter. Now, this looks like a funny voltmeter. Uh, that's probably the first thing you're going to notice. It's got this weird thing on it. Well, this is an amp meter. Uh, this will read both the volts and the amps. And when we're done, we'll know exactly how much voltage it's putting out and how much amps it's putting out. And those are the two numbers you want. Um, and you want them to, to match up. This was like $35 on Amazon. I'll put a link in it. I recommend, it, you probably already have a voltage meter. Uh, and if you don't, you should have, if you're at all handy around your rig. But the amp meter is so simple to use. I really, really recommend at any time, it will check 12 volt and 110 volt. That's what's unusual. There have always been amp meters for 110 volt, but they're much more expensive and they're just 110 volt. To get them inexpensive for a 12 volt and 110 volt, that, that's new. And this is a fantastic one. I've owned, uh, I had one of these before and I left the battery in it and it corroded and I had to, it was just such a mess, I had to throw it away. Um, and I bought another one of exactly the same kind. This is a, a very good, it's a cheap tool for $35. This is incredibly cheap, but it works really super well and I highly recommend it. There'll be a link down below. I am an affiliate. You, I will earn a little bit if you buy one. I highly recommend that you buy one. I'm gonna have my friend Robert help me test this. So how do you find out the voltage on a panel? Well, they all come with these two uh, MC4 connectors. Don't buy a panel that doesn't come with MC4 connectors. So you take the negative probe and you put it into uh, the little slot and then you put the positive in there and then uh, you look down and I'm getting 22.38, which is exactly right, what, you, what you, I want on this panel. 22.39, it'll bounce around. It's gonna be, it's 22.3, 22.4. Well, what does that number mean? And so to find out what, if that's the right number, you turn the panel around and the panel will always have a little tag on it like this. And if it doesn't have a little panel, panel, tag like this, you don't want it. This is what they should all have. And it'll give a bunch of voltages. Maximum voltage is 19.5. Open circuit voltage is 23.8. And so uh, it's right about where we want it to be. So let's look at amps. Amps, it's putting out um, 9.5. That's how many amps you want out of it. And because I have an amp meter, we can test the amps. Let me show you now how to test the amps. Uh, and a lot of people will tell you this is unsafe, uh, but this is actually uh, the standard way you test amperage on a, on a, on a new panel is you just take the two and you put them together. It won't blow up, it won't explode, there won't be any fires. Uh, now, it's, it, it's, it's uh, wired to protect itself from doing this, from this happening. And now uh, the amperage is flowing through it. So we'll turn it back over, turn it back around, and we'll get some sun. And we're looking for about nine, seven amps. What are we looking for? Yep, nine, nine, seven. nine two, nine, five. So uh, we're looking for about nine, two amps. It's just got a switch. I've changed it to amps. The way you test the amps is to, uh, it's connected together, power is flowing through it. Uh, you take your amp meter and you just open it, really simple, open it. And now the power is flowing through it and it's 8.1. And you think, oh my goodness, what's wrong with your panel? You bought a crappy one. Well, there's a little secret and that I'm afraid people, um, let's, let's lay it down flat and do it again. And so you got it laying flat on the ground and you do the amp and now it's saying 8.5, 8.4, it's bouncing right around 8.5. You think, oh my goodness, it's not putting it out for power. What's wrong? I got crap. No, 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 no. It, yeah, I'll show you the amount, the amount of difference it makes tilting and tracking the sun. It's really important. So I think that's about even. You can always look at the shadow. If the shadow is running about directly parallel, 
then you're at 180 degrees, you're in line with the sun, and, and then you check the, uh, and now I'm at 909, and let's slowly drop it. 92, 93, 94, 95, drop it a little more, 96, 97, 98, 99, a little more, 10. I just hit 10 amps. It made that much difference. I jumped from 8 amps to 10 amps, just a 20% increase in power just by tilting and tracking. So when you test your panel, don't just lay it on the ground. Uh, and it's not noon yet. It's only about 10.45 uh, here. At noon, it will be even more important. It'll get even more power at noon. Uh, so factor all those things in. This, this panel is porting out more amperage than it's rated at at this moment uh, uh, because it just is a good day. It's a good solar day for sun. And if there were any clouds, of course, it'd be putting much less out or any haze or the sun. If it were earlier in the day and the sun was lower on the horizon, it would be putting out less. You have to factor all these things in when you test. Um, so it's putting out 10 amps at about, uh, what did we say it was at? 22, 21 volts. Uh, it's perfect. It's running perfectly, and we've tested them both now. Both of these are working exactly uh, how they should, and so they pass the test with flying colors, and when I pick up the next two, I will test them in exactly the same way, and I fully expect them to pass. So this little voltmeter has given me a lot of really good information, and I'm completely confident in these two panels. Um, and so now we'll install them. Uh, let me show you one little thing here. I'll give that back to you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, I'll show you the uh, feet. Where we've already mounted the feet. They just, there's a hole in the panel. They go through the hole where it mounts into. And so it's got a bolt that goes through there. And then these will screw straight in. You must always have feet that lift it off. You can see it's up about an inch. You have to have airflow. Panels want to be cold. Uh, that's another reason why we're getting more, we're over amping right now because it's still a little cool yet. We got a breeze. So it's moving, it's got air moving all around it. Um, and so it's cooler. And so when a panel is cooler, it's going to do a better job of producing more power. Okay, I think I've given you enough information on this panel. So, so far, so good. I'll get the other panels in and test them and uh, get right back to you with how uh, they're performing. So I got the other two panels in and uh, they are working perfectly just like these two are. So I can, I can highly recommend at this point, Bouge RV solar panels for $180, a dollar a watt for a 180 watt panel. I think the size is really good for you to be able to find a space on your RV. Um, and so I do recommend them. And I'll, as I go through the build, I'll talk, I'll discuss every, uh, every component and tell you why I've chosen it and, and what the factors are for you. I think for most of you, a single 180 watt panel would be just fine. I think 200 is what I recommend. I think a pair of these for $360 and get a 40 amp controller. That's a perfect system for nearly all of you. I do recommend these. I think they are a good size and a good choice for nearly all of you. So in the in come, upcoming videos in the series, as we do the install, I'll do a component review of most of the components that I bought, tell you why I bought them, if, who they are, who they will apply to, and who they won't apply to, uh, and when you should buy something better and bigger or different or whatever, smaller. Maybe sometimes you need a smaller thing because I'm buying a big system. Uh, so I'll try and let you know all of that as we go through. So if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.